One of the most commonly used applications for creating and editing PO files is PoEdit. This is free and open source and is available for all platforms. To install it, choose the version for your operating system and follow the instructions. Once installed, we'll use PoEdit to create the translation file for the Spanish version of our site. So let's select the New option from the File menu, and then we can either select the language from the list, or type it in. In our case, we want Spanish with no region. We'll click OK, and then before we add any translations, first we need to save the file. So we'll click the Save button, and then we need to select the folder we just created, Locales, ES, LC Messages. We enter the name of the file at the top. This name can be whatever you like, but the standard name is messages.po, in lower case. Then we click the Save button, and now we can add some translations. Using PoEdit, we don't do this manually. Rather, we extract the strings from the source code. This is why we added the calls to the getText method in our PHP code first. So we'll click on the Extract from Sources button, which brings up this dialog. We click on the plus sign under the Paths box, select Add Files, select our index script, and click Open. Then we click OK. And there are the original strings from our code. PoEdit has gone through the file, and anywhere where we called the getText function or its underscore alias, it's extracted the string that we pass to that function. We can now translate these strings, which we do down here. So example, and then home, and then hello and welcome. As you can see, it's very easy to add translations using PoEdit, and this is what a lot of professional translators use. Once we've translated all the strings, we need to generate another file. GetText doesn't read PO files directly, instead, it uses machine object or MO files. These files are binary files that we compile from the PO file. There are command line tools that will do this, but PoEdit can do this for us too. First, let's save this file by clicking on the Save button. Then, select Compile to MO. We want to create a file with the same name as the PO file, but with a .mo extension, in the same folder. It should default to this, so just click on the Save button. Depending on the settings, PoEdit will have already created an empty MO file when you create the PO file, so it might already exist. If so, and you get a warning like this, just click on Replace. If we look in the folder we created earlier, there are the mo and po files we just created using poedit. Let's have a look at the po file, and this is what poedit has generated. This header gives information about the file, including the language, and here are the translations, including comments that contain the name of the file and the line number in that file where the string was extracted from. This is just a plain text file, so you can edit it if you like, but it's much easier to do it using PoEdit. If you add some translations to your code, you can click the Update from Code button, and this will import these strings, so you can translate them and generate an updated translation file.